Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make the best, smooth, creamy, delicious pumpkin pie. First of all, I'm going to start off with a 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. Not the pumpkin pie mix, but the puree. I'm just going to mix that very well. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour that in my bowl. Make sure you get it all. You don't want to leave a drop because this is going to be the key ingredient to your pie. Add 12 ounces of evaporated milk and mix well. Slightly beaten eggs, fourth cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, teaspoon of ground ginger, one fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one fourth teaspoon of ground cloves, and last but not least, one half teaspoon of pumpkin spice. Go ahead and mix that all up. It smells so good. We're just going to mix that very, very well. I sprinkle just a few ground pumpkin seeds in my crust. You guys don't have to do this if you don't want to. This is optional. But you guys know I just love crunchy. So I just have a few pumpkin seeds. Hey guys, I want to encourage you to make several of these pumpkin pies because your family's going to love this pie so much. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the oven at 450 and bake for 20 minutes. Then I'm going to reduce the temperature to 350 and I'm going to bake for an additional 35 to 45 minutes. Hey guys, I gotta let you know this pie is absolutely delicious. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's firm. Oh my God, you could taste all the cinnamon, the ginger, the nutmeg, the clove, the spice. I added some whipped cream. I added some pumpkin seeds on top for crunch. And oh my God, it is so good. I don't know what to say. Yummy. I'm going to get another piece of pie. Your family is going to love this pumpkin pie. I'm going to eat me some more. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.